Okay, so we've got some familiarity now with radians and also angles of degree, uh, angles that are greater than 360 degrees or 2 pi uh, and negative angles. So we're going to kind of apply that now to some unit circle practice where we're going to talk about sine, cosine, and tangent um, and, and just evaluating things. And as we go through each problem, please, like once you see the problem, pause it and try to evaluate it yourself. And then I will go, I will also go through and explain my thought process of solving each of these. I think I have like 15 of them or something. So let's just get into this. All right. What is a sine of 30 degrees? So I'm thinking, okay, sine of 30 degrees, it's right there. That's the X. So the X coordinate right there. So the Y coordinate, sorry, right there is root three over two and one half. The Y coordinate is one half. So the sine of 30 degrees is one half. All right, next question. What's the sine of 2 pi? Ooh, sine of 2 pi. Okay, so 2 pi is 360 degrees. So what's the y value right there? Obviously, it's 0. So this is going to be 0. Okay, tangent of negative 60. So boom, boom, negative 60. We draw those angles uh, clockwise as opposed to counterclockwise. So the coordinates there are going to be positive 1 half, comma, negative root 3 over 2. Tangent is the y divided by the x here. So we have negative root 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, which is just negative root 3. So we should get negative root 3 for the tangent of negative 60 degrees. Tangent of 4 pi over 3. Okay, so 4 pi over 3, that's going to be for 3 pi over 3 is 1 is one pi, right? And so another pi over 3 or another 60 degrees, we're going to have a 60 degree reference angle here in quadrant 3. Both are negative there, so this coordinate is uh, negative one half comma negative root three over two. So we already know from the previous problem actually that a 60 degree angle has a, a tangent of root three, and if we have a negative root three over two divided by a negative one half, this is just going to be a positive root three. Okay, the sine of seven pi over two. Here's a situation where seven pi over two is outside of my range of theta values, uh, which are in the unit circle or one rotation. So what I need to do to seven pi over two is subtract is subtract uh, two pi from it. So two pi is the same as four pi over two, and now I have three pi over two. So what I'm really being asked here is what is the sine of three pi over two? So it's like this, what is the sine? What is the y value right there? Well, I know that this is zero comma negative one, so it's gonna be negative one. You could also thought about this by it's like, okay, there's there's four pi over two, five pi over two, six pi over two, seven pi over two right there. Okay, so it's still the same spot. So negative one is the answer to this one. Okay, tangent of 17 pi over 6. 17 pi over 6, that's another angle outside of my 0 to 2 pi range for inside a unit circle. So I, I, could, I could draw one full rotation, right? And 6 is 12 pi over 6 is one full rotation. Then I would go, and if we're dividing by 6, like that's, these are the 6s, right? So if I divide by 6, then, then that is 13, 13 pi over 6, 14 pi over 6, 15 pi over 6, 16 pi over 6, 17 pi over 6. So really what I have is a 30 degree reference angle here in quadrant 2. Uh, and so the, the coordinates for this are negative root 3 over 2 comma 1 half. I could do 1 half divided by negative root 3 over 2. I know that this is going to equal negative root 3 over 3. Okay, so that's going to be the answer to this. You could have also said, all right, 17 pi over 3 subtract 12 pi over so, sorry, sorry, 17 pi over 6, subtract 12 pi over 6, that is just 5 pi over 6, which of course 5 pi over 6 puts me right back there too. So different ways to think about the same problem, but the answer should be negative root 3 over 3. Okay, the sine of 150 degrees, uh, sine of 150, boom, we're actually at the same angle we were in the previous problem, and so the sine value there is going to be 1 half. So 1 half. Tangent of a negative 11 pi over 6. Negative 11 pi over 6, I draw counter, I draw clockwise as opposed to counterclockwise. And I go all the way to a 30 degree reference angle in quadrant 1. The tangent of a 30 degree reference angle is going to be root 3 over 3. And in quadrant 1, that's a positive divided by a positive. So we end up with a positive. So this should be root 3 over 3. Right, cosine of 210 degrees. 210 degrees is 180 plus another 30, so we have a 30 degree reference angle there in quadrant 3. 
the coordinates here are negative root 3 over 2 comma a negative 1 half and this cosine is the x value so this is just going to be negative root 3 over 2. Tangent of pi. Okay, so this is interesting. Tangent of pi. First of all, pi is over here. <clears throat> now the coordinates at this point are negative 1 comma 0 and the tangent is y divided by x so we would be 0 divided by negative 1 which is 0. So the tangent of pi is just going to be 0. Cosine of 135 degrees, all right, cosine of 135, that's a 45 degree reference angle right there, right? We go 90 and another 45. 45 degree reference angle here in quadrant 2. Coordinates of this are uh, negative root 2 over 2, comma root 2 over 2. And the cosine is the x value, so this is just going to be negative root 2 over 2. The sine of 3 pi over 4. Okay, 3 pi over 4 is it's actually also that same angle, right? This is 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. But now we wanted the y value, so remember the coordinates were negative root 2 over 2, comma root 2 over 2. The sine is the y, so the answer to this one would be square root of 2 over 2. The sine of 19 pi over 6. All right, 19 pi over 6 is too big. It's outside of my... Uh, 0 to 12 pi over 6 comfort zone. So I'm going to subtract 12 pi over 6 from this. And I've got leftover will be 7 pi over 6. All right, 7 pi over 6 I can do. 7 pi over 6 is, that's 6 pi over 6 plus 1 more pi over 6. So we actually have a 30 degree reference angle here in quadrant 3. Coordinates of this are going to be negative root 3 over 2, comma negative 1 half. I wanted the sine, so the answer should be negative 1 half. Cosine of 495 degrees. Okay, 495. I'm going to subtract 360 from that, and that's going to give me 135 degrees. 135 degrees. So 135 degrees cosine. Uh, 135 degrees is over here. Cosine of this is well, we have our coordinates at negative root two over two, and root two over two positive. But cosine is negative, so this answer is negative root two over two. Okay, now we want to know what is the cosine of 7 pi over 3. Okay, 7 pi over 3 is is uh, outside of my comfort zone, right? But it's only pi over 3 outside, right? If I took 7 pi over 3 and subtracted 2 pi, so 6 pi over 3, I'd have pi over 3. So that means I go pi over 3, which is a 60 degree reference angle in quadrant 1. Coordinates of this are 1 half and root 3 over 2. And so it's the x values, cosine. So the answer to this one is just 1 half. Okay, and then finally, what's the cosine of pi over 6? Uh, cosine of pi over 6, right there. x coordinate is root 3 over 2. So that's what the answer is. And so root 3 over 2. Now, all of these problems, you can just really visualize. Like what I do is I draw out the coordinate plane and kind of sketch visually where the angle is. And then I can recall what the coordinates are going to be because I know what the coordinates are in the first quadrant and I can just make them positive or negative depending on which quadrant I end up in for x and y. And really that's kind of the technique here for, for knowing what are these exact values of these, um, these, these angles, whether they're in degrees or radians of the three trigonometric functions that we've learned so far within the unicircle.